were your expectations when you called up Luke Voigt for the second time, and has he exceeded those expectations now? Uh, yeah, I think you have to say he's exceeded them. Um, I think we believed we acquired a good hitter, and so so we believed that when we brought him, and then obviously even sending him back uh, at the time. Um, but to see what he's been able to do, to see the Luke Voigt show roll on, um, He's, he's been terrific, you know, and obviously, I mean, the power speaks for itself and, you know, and the number of big hits he's gotten, but, but I think it's consistently, you know, he's had, he's thrown up quality at bats, which, um, you know, makes you believe that um, he can, he can really uh, maintain this, um, but he's been huge for us. What do you think has allowed him to really settle in and find his groove at the plate at this level? You know what? I think he's got. I think he's got confidence deep down in in his b ability. I think he believes he can really hit, and um, you know he he plays obviously with a little bit of a swagger, um, but I think that's a, from a place of confidence. And uh, you know when he's gotten this opportunity this time, he's made the most of it. What can you say? And and he's uh, he's been really important for us. What is the reaction like from the coaching staff from the dugout as he continues to hit home run after home run seven in the last 12 games? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we all just kind of smile because we're waiting to see what, what kind of antics he might have when he's running around the bases or, you know, if he's going to, you know, leap and fist bump and chest bump and, you know, get the crowd going. Whatever he does, um, we, we like to watch the reaction. He, he, plays the game, uh, he plays the game with a lot of joy. Jay Happ really gave you guys a chance. What made him not only so effective but really efficient out there? I mean, he pounded the zone, pounded the zone, had great command. Um, you know, the the mistake to Piscotti, it, it seemed like from the side was one of his few mistakes. You know, he wanted to get that ball in, left it on the plate. That's what got him in trouble a little bit in his last start. Um, today, I thought he did a really got, good job with his fastball, of commanded it in. I thought he threw some good change-ups that he got outs with. Um, but just what we needed, really pitch efficient. Um, and. Uh, a, a big effort by him again. What did you see from him that you took him out of the game right there? Um, not much. You know, <clears throat> we had the long inning, and so he had sat over there for a long time, and then I just thought he wasn't quite as sharp with Chapman there. I knew we were set up how we wanted to in the pen. Um, you know, I liked the Robbie. Lowry match up there right away and I just felt like you know even though he was so pitch efficient and you know he he definitely I think wanted to stay in obviously and probably could have stayed in I just felt like the lanes we had lined up I felt like uh, I felt like it was the right time time to get him. Was that a conversation you had out there? Because you didn't motion right away for Robertson. No, I was just making sure Robbie had plenty of time. I felt like I wanted to make sure he had a few extra pitches. So I, I just took my time uh, walking out there. And when I got there, just you know, told him that I was going to make the move, um, even though obviously his pitch count was, was very manageable. Um, I just felt like, um, you know, from that point of the game, we had uh, – the matchups we are looking for, and and uh, so we made the move. That, go ahead. That that seventh inning could have gone a different way. Did you think Davis went all the way around there? I did. I haven't seen the replay, but yeah, my my reaction was uh, I thought that he did. What does it say about Robertson? Even after that, maybe call that he would have liked to have gotten really buckled down, was able to strike out two thereafter. Yeah, he was great. I mean, he, he you know he he mixed his fastball in, but obviously you know when the when he needed the big pitch, you know, he, he mixed in enough fastballs for strikes within the account and then just, you know, really had his breaking ball command going um, and, you know, went through the heart of their order in, in obviously a big situation. When, when Gardner went down and you kind of heard that thump, did you think he'd gotten hit or did yeah, you? Yeah, I was a little, because, you know, I think he, he just scared him more than anything and so, yeah, my, my original thought was it, it got him in the he head, so I was just going out there to check on him, and um, obviously it didn't. Is this one of your bigger wins? Um, man, this is, this is a good one, you know, especially, you know, s struggling to really mount anything there, the first five in it, well, getting no hit there for a while. Um, but I thought we did a lot of things really well tonight. You know, turned a couple of big double plays that weren't easy double plays to turn. Um, you know, our bullpen really set up and did did their job. Hap was terrific. We had a lot of big at-bats against some of their high-leverage guys late in the game to, to 
continue to add on and uh, yeah I thought we we did a lot of things well and and obviously an important one to to uh, even this series uh, on a, on the start of a big trip. You mentioned early, like before the game, the bullpenning giving you guys trouble. So was there some frustration in there after that seventh inning where you push across the one run and, you know, and like you said, you've been no hit for a decent period of time. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a little, you, you obviously want to want to tack on there and add on, um, but, you know, that's one of their strengths too. And you, you got Familia out there that even though, even when he loses his command a little bit, he's able to, be a real problem especially for right-handed hitters and and he made some big time pitches uh to you know to get to get Andujar and, and Gary um so you know it's going to be hard you know when you're playing up against these these good teams and and you got to take advantage of every little every little opportunity you get um I thought we were able to work some walks to set up and at least get us back into the game and then to tack on late with some some big runs was was huge you just tightened up the defense there, I believe, in the eighth inning, or was Andujar feeling any of the effects after fouling it off his foot? No, no, we just wanted to get Echeverria in there, and um, yeah, just just setting it up, setting up our defense late.